is a part of the process. It's, the getting together is the big deal. But once again, I don't want you to look at it, oh, I can't participate in class today because what we share is a common need to learn something or experience something, and that's jury crafting. So I want it to be inclusive of all of what we are about as a whole. So I decided that my format's going to be, um, now that I've learned how to incorporate other videos and other things into um, our class, is uh, sometimes bringing a video from YouTube or something so that we can look at a technique. Um, because I'm always out there trying to learn something also. So I, I want to be able to um, do this. And what I will do is when I know that I'm going to incorporate a video, I'll give you like notice like, you know, the week before. So next week we'll know this is what we're going to be focusing on or something like that. I'm still working on uh, ways to do um, more of the stuff so you can see my hands. And my laptop today is sitting on top of a stand that I have that I can raise up and down. So I've been practicing with it to see how high I would have to go if I wanted to, you know, display something for me. So I also like to do, um, I don't want to call it like a newspaper or something like that, but have different categories and then people can contribute to that. And one of the little things I want to do is, a, one of the headers I like to use is called bead worthy, meaning that there are a lot of new beads that I notice that are out on the market. I'm like lost uh, because I'm not exploring all of these things. So, you know, maybe we can incorporate, um, if you find like a new bead that's out there, so we can bring that to class, talk about it, see what it looks like. So it's, it's, it's kind of like an online blog in the concept is what I'm looking at so that we can bring other things. Because what I'm finding is you may have something that you've learned that the rest of us may not know. So I'm really trying to turn it into more of an interactive concept other than just doing the show and tell part of it. Okay. So, excuse me. So this is one of the things that I'm focusing on uh, giving us a new sets because I'm finding there are so many different things. Now, in addition to that, um, and this was from discussion in last, my last Friday's class, one of the other things that came up offhanded, uh, one of the participants is a master crocheter. And um, she did a project for, or taught us a project in class, and it involved making, and I think I may have talked about it in one of the classes, we did these crochet necklaces. And, um, but we weren't using the regular yarn, we were using like a different type of thread. Mm -hmm. And it became this beautiful piece and it took people into crocheting because you never think about other techniques that really is jewelry making. Because mm -hmm. the key thing about jewelry is always like comes down to those beads and mm -hmm. how you use them and things like that. So um, based upon that, I was talking about this um, knitting machine that I have. And um, they wanted to see that, which I will show them. But there are so many other things besides the normal chains and other things that we use that can, we can make jewelry from. So I want to focus on things like that. Um, also, we, the, the necklace that she sh showed us how to do became pretty neat because if your necklace got dirty, you could wash it because it was, <laughs> or it was, or it is, mm. it's a yarn, but it was more like a thread type thing and um so it's trying to get us into some of the other arenas because so many people have talents in other areas and not think about how that can become a piece of jewelry but why does it always have to be jewelry why can't it become a scarf that has beads on it and mm -hmm. other things that we wear we just look at it as that piece that's worn around your neck Mm -hmm. and um or or it has to have those jewels but your jewels can really suspend off of a lot of other things out of there 
Mm-hmm. And so, and I know, Annie, I think you, you sew, if I remember correctly, right? So it's all, all of those other techniques and things that we can use, whether you opt to do it or not, but the key part about it is, do you know about it? Yeah. So that's the direction that I'm trying to look at for us moving forward so that we can get some more zest into the things we're doing. Okay. So what do you think? Sounds good. Yeah, sounds really good. You know, when you talk about uh, different ways that you can use beads, I got some beads in uh, about two weeks ago. There was some red and silver and gold looking beads. They were very pretty and very shiny. I have a miniature Christmas tree and okay. I actually wire wrap those beads and I made little dangles to go on that little miniature Christmas tree with the beads. Wow. And fantastic. it turned out really, it turned out really, really nice. Mm. So that's another option. I mean, we could just take bees everywhere. Exactly, exactly. And, that, and that's the thing about it. Um, one of the other things, and, and I'm dancing her polymer clay, but I was outside and I found this, my neighbor has a tree that has these humongous, um, they, they type of an acorn, but they normally come in clusters and the clusters is three. And when they dry, the, the acorn falls out of that, but the clusters stay attached. And I have that. And what I want to do with it, I, of course, I don't have my oven. My oven is still at the center. But one of the things I was thinking about, because I have this cluster of three, and they're like a pod and has a hole in it. So what I want to do is replace that space where the acorn was with polymer clay instead to turn it into a pen. Oh. Nancy, do you get my vision? Like a setting. It's like a setting, huh? Yes, exactly. Because and so when I um add the clay to it to become replaced acorn, then I would and I, my thing is I probably will shape it first mm. and then bake the pieces and then glue them into it so I'm not putting that um, piece into the oven. And then when it's all done, probably put like a resin thing or something on it uh-huh. so that it solidifies the piece, but it will be a beautiful pin. Yeah, yeah. Like you uh, cut the acorns like in half and put the and put your little bead inside, that's what you're talking about? Well, I'm not thinking about putting a bead in it at all. Um, oh, uh-huh. and I'm not thinking about doing the bead, just re, um, replacing the, the acorn center in that pod with the colorful clay pieces. Oh, uh-huh. and if I put a uh, resin or something on it, it's already shiny. Sometimes I right. think you can have right. too much grassiness and stuff like that, you know, glitter to something. Uh-huh. And so that's what I'm thinking about doing. So they can match my earrings. <laughs> Nancy made these earrings. You still wear them? You still wear and them? I, I wear, I've been wearing them when I got these about a month ago, and I've been wearing them every day. I love the colors in them. <laughs> well, yeah, you, can't well, say, I you can't say I don't appreciate your gift. <laughs> <laughs> you wear them much. Well, not that's only I, that is, I, that's I love what I made them for the wear. <laughs> well, I wear them. And mm-hmm. the thing about the clay is because it's light. I can't, I don't like heavy things hanging in my ear. So they're light. extremely they're light. light. And, mm-hmm. um, you know, they work. So think about it. But mm-hmm. that's another offbeat way because there are so many other techniques and things that we do. Mm-hmm. And we just always think about it in terms of, well, this got to be this type of jewelry piece or something like that. And it doesn't have to be. Okay. So feel free to reach out and share. But the key thing about it is, is always, um, no matter what you do, we always learn something. Yeah. So I don't want anyone to put pressure on themselves and say, well, I can't do plastic. Today, today maybe you just need to be there and be a part of. Yeah. If that's what brings you joy, I keep encouraging people don't back off from the things that we're doing because it's important for our sanity, our, our health and whatever, because I know it's important to me and I really do look forward to seeing all of you. And if I'm missing someone, I go out and look unless they say, look, when, when I'm missing, don't try to contact me. I try to contact you. So this, <laughs> this is important. Yes. So, 
Um, I have um, some items that I want to do. Go ahead and do the show on these things, and we can talk about that. Uh, let me get back to my share screen here. But aren't you all happy I'm learning all these Zoom things? Yes. Yes, indeed. <laughs> me too. <laughs> okay. So. Who's, who made this? Mary, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right. So Mary, you want to talk about this? When did you do this? After you got out of the hospital, before you went to the hospital? That was before, because I couldn't, uh, well, well, a little bit before, because I couldn't do any work with anything, because they didn't want me to have any scratches or, or, or openings and all this kind of mess. So I, I, I've been like, I haven't done anything for two weeks. Well, was it last Wednesday you went to the hospital? Yes. Well, this was before. This was before I went in the hospital. Oh, okay. okay. But it was well before that because they were saying no scratches, no this, and we got to. You can't take your surgery. So I was like, this don't make no sense. <laughs> but I look at it. Here you go. Last Wednesday you were in the hospital. This week here you are back with us. Yeah, that's good. And thing. she stayed overnight too. I hated that. Didn't sleep in the hospital at all. The, only time I slept was doing the operation and doing recovery. After that, I was wide awake. I ain't sleep in the hospital. Too many folks walking in and out. Ain't no door. <laughs> can't lock them. They come in. I'm just, oh, what they say? Uh, I'm sorry to wake up. Uh, baby, baby, I, I asked them what was the challenge for the music. I just had to end up watching CNN because I couldn't find the music channel. But I, I see, see Mary displays the personality of why the doctors and the nurses need to be tolerant. <laughs> You're right. You're so right because I was telling the doctor he had put me on the wrong medicine. Sure did. <laughs> they have to be tolerant. Yes. Andy, you had a comment? The background is real pretty. It helps. It brings out. That's in, my wall. Nice. That is nice, though. The colors uh -huh. with the, the shot, the way you got a stage is pretty. I uh -huh. even Took that Back on. to um, my comment is always the same when you are photo your jewelry or whatever you're doing, even if it's for whatever, you should always take things like that into consideration because it definitely has an impact on your display. Mm -hmm. So um, it just means everything. Sometimes it's the difference between making, particularly if you sell it, making $5 less versus making $5 more. Yeah, it right. has everything to do with it. I listen to you. I even use the uh, tape on the uh, display thing. I was oh, uh, oh to clean it. Yeah, to clean oh, it. Okay, <laughs> wasn't in vain. <laughs> very, very good. I'm proud of you. Okay, um, I some of you may have seen this because Mary, you weren't here last week. This is in the afternoon class, and as I share with you guys, and we do things in the previous class that has already been seen. I sometimes like to show it in the other classes so that people can mm -hmm. stay in tune with what other people are doing. Mm -hmm. And um, this is something we're going to get back to um, doing oh, the wire. Yeah. Oh, that is cute. I like now, Ellen, that. Ellen made this, and um, but it's you know it's wire. Yes. Uh, coils, it's not coiled, right? And these, of course, are her earrings. Yeah, I see. Your, co your color. <laughs> <laughs> this is. Um, <laughs> her, I, I'm trying to remember what she told me was amber or coral. It was a coral. I think it was amber or something like that. But of course, I complimented the colors. But um, this is basically like an S class that are mm -hmm. connected together. Uh -huh. So what she mm -hmm. did was, I think she cut her strips of wire two inches long. And of course, she fold the wire in half. And yeah. the best thing to do is, is just wrap it around the tip of your round nose pliers. Then, and then you curl from um, opposite sides. Okay. And she linked these together is what she's done. True. And then the same, you know, the same thing in making the earring. But I, I love it. I mm -hmm. love it. It's so yeah. fantastic. So mm -hmm. this is something I will definitely get back into some wire techniques and other things that we kind of moved away from just to make certain that people are mm -hmm. uh, up to date on their wires and things of that nature. Because wire is always that inexpensive 
piece, particularly now that copper colors are so popular. Because, you know, in the past, we were always into, like, it's got to be, um, like, precious metal wire, like gold or mm -hmm. gold field or silver. But mm -hmm. what's nice now is all the new markets that are on, why is, I'm sorry, that's on the market, that's tarnish resistant. Yes. So when you combine them with things like the copper wire and everything, it looks fantastic and you don't have to spend a lot of money. Mm -mm. And particularly with copper wire, I love it because when, mm -hmm. if you allow it to patina and you get those pretty colors coming mm. out of that wire, mm. it's, it's beautiful. So that's one of the things I want to go back and focus on other materials mm -hmm. that come into play with the, with the um, jewelry craft. And um, just giving you an idea where our Julia is, she I'll show you. this one, because Woo! this is a piece she did. And thinking about Julia, you know, Julia and it was in the beginner's class and wouldn't move any further. But she did this herself from a pattern. And this is hair and bone, but she basically taught herself how to increase and decrease in doing this, and mm -hmm. it just came out. This mm -hmm. color is kind right. of a burnt gold, so it really doesn't show up that well. Okay. But it, she did a fantastic job. Yes. Mm -hmm. Look, it's pretty. Mm -hmm. yeah, she is. She got yeah. the patient of Job. <laughs> you, that's right, Mary. Terry, that's I'm still cool. working on trying to get you to step across that bridge just to try it and see. I know. But I, I still want you to maintain your comfort level where you are. But I think once you just do that basic crossover, it just now, gives you background. Yeah. It may not be your primary thing, but it's always nice to know how oh, to do yeah. something else. Mm -hmm. Because some of these things work so well when they're combined with just regular stringing. Mm -hmm. um, additionally, um, we were talking about that other side of the, the weaving part, particularly during the holidays, mm -hmm. because we always spend a lot of time making ornaments and other things. And you know, normally I would have them in the display window. But um, Sandra was able to find some of the ornaments that we did in the past. Mm -hmm. And I thought I would show you these. Oh yeah, ooh. This mm -hmm. was one of the things that we talked about. I think she was doing this to make a set these are the little miniature balls, ornaments. Yeah. And we, we would, she was doing this to make a set to give in a box set to someone as a Christmas gift. Mm -hmm. And um, I love these. Yeah. It's pretty pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this one is one that I had displayed in the our display window before. Oh, yeah, it is pretty. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I love this that. was always one of my favorite ones that she mm -hmm. made. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Colors are pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But when you look at these um, uh, ornaments, it really is netting. And what we after we figure out what the formula is, because you could take this, this is the basic part of mm -hmm. the piece. And if you made a necklace, strung a necklace because a netting piece can become netting a stringing as well as and so if you made your base necklace to fit around your neck all of these things come out through these beads believe it or not that could become a netted collar mm -hmm. a you know what i'm saying it, mm -hmm. it's just having that ability to look at it and take it apart because each one of these pieces that drop down here comes from the center of one of these beads. So if you had a necklace that had, say, 30 beads go around, you would be doing, coming out each one of these beads, coming through, going back up and through the other bead and doing this. And if you imagine this as this beautiful collar around your neck rather than around the ornament cover. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's just a matter of being able to visually break something apart so that you can see it. But I did want to throw that out there to give you an idea of some of the things that, you know, that's really happening. And the direction I honestly would like for us to go, just for information, if no more than just that, to really get you in tune. 
to other things mm -hmm. so you can make choices, whether it's on fabric or whatever. I just think it's nice to be able to do even the fabric things and add the beads to them. Because you all know, normally I wear my collars when winter comes. That's how I, I decorate my neck. <laughs> And I wish you were, I had known you soon and you were in our classes with us. <laughs> oh, it well, sounds like you guys had a lot of fun. We did, and we're going to still have fun, too. Mm -hmm. That's why I used to call Miss Addie the sparkle. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. But no matter. So does anyone else have, oh, speaking of which, did, um, just asking the question, do you, were you guys able to join in on a uh, concert Saturday evening, the 22nd anniversary concert? I didn't know. No, I wasn't able to. Well, anyway, um, it is still, uh, it's posted on YouTube, so if you have an opportunity, you might want to watch it, because Anthony and his band performed, oh. and um, mm. it was it was really nice. There were a lot of people that join in and stuff like that. It was a, a free concert, but it's the 22nd year anniversary. Mm -hmm. uh, I also want to get this in. Um, something that happened to me Saturday evening is just something to be aware of. I have two, like four feet pre-lit Christmas tree. You know, normally you can put them outside, you know, that's how I use them. But um, I've had them probably seven, eight years. And Saturday evening, I decided, well, I'll just go ahead and plug one of them in for my second piece of decoration. Mm -hmm. And I got it all going. And the wires, I'm sorry, the lights are already on it and everything, those little miniature lights. Mm -hmm. I was about to go upstairs, turn around to pick up my bottle of water. And I want you to know this tree starts to burn. Oh. Wow. And um, of course, I'm like everybody else, I panicked somewhat. And I, I was trying to get water to pour on it. I finally remember to unplug it. But anyhow, I ultimately was able to get it out of my house and I put it on the back patio because it was starting to rain. And I'm only sharing this with you simply because I never believed that type of material because it's the stuff they make, I guess, artificial trees out of it would burn. Mm -hmm. I don't know what started. So to me, it had to be the lights or something on it. But I'm just saying, share this with you to beware. If you have decoration and things like that that you've had around, you might want to double check it. Because mm -hmm. I never expected that ever. Mm -hmm. So my second tree, and I've even, um, when we would have our secret Santa shop at the center, I've even used that tree as part of my decoration over there. I don't know what what happened, but I, I just, like I said, is I just want you to double check things like that. My trees are going in the trash. I'm not using them. I, I'm not even going to I'll bother with the other one um, just, just because of that. But just bear that in mind with so many things happening these days mm. with fire. So um, that's where I am. Ooh, so just that's go ahead. Yes. No, that could have that could have really been disastrous. Oh, absolutely. And and as I said, is it's only because because I was about to go upstairs. Mm -hmm. It was only because mm -hmm. I remembered I had not got my water to take with me when I turned around, mm -hmm. and I heard this popping, and I looked, and the smoke is coming out of the tree and everything. So you know, I, I'm a, of course extremely grateful, but I just want to make you aware, double check things like that because I never thought that type of material would burn. Hmm. So I don't know, but I'm assuming it had to be something with the lights, but those lights are so small. I just can't imagine them generating that type of heat, you know, to start something, but nevertheless. Mm -hmm. So does anybody have a, a word, a last word or a positive words or something for us? And of course, we have class this afternoon, so feel free to join in. But does anybody have anything they'd like to end this session with other than me talking all the time? When do we come back in January? What day does that? Class to start back January 4th. That's the Monday. The 4th. Mm -hmm. Well, 
Well, I just wish everybody in this class that they have a blessed uh, holiday and a blessed new year. And the Lord's will and hope to see you next year. Thank you. Everybody Thank well you. and safe. Thank you. All I'm going to say is just pray for me. All the time. Yes. That's the only thing I'm going to say today, believe me. Well, you know I do. You know I maintain that contact with you. So mm -hmm. definitely reach out and keep me updated, okay? Um, positively after your appointment tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Miss mm -hmm. Annie? Well, the same as everybody. I'm wishing everybody a happy Christmas and um, in a very, very different new year. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully yes. we'll go into yes. that year with things kind of coming down and because it's been a very unusual year. So Agreed. hopefully 2021, mm -hmm. you know, with the blessing of God, you know, everything will be fine. Right. Mm -hmm. More positive year. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah. And of course, I'm in agreement with everybody. And I, I just want to say thank you all for maintaining this relationship with me. Um, I enjoy every minute, every moment, all the time. Um, not only have you hopefully i've given something to you but just bear in mind that you definitely have given something to me always and i am very grateful to have you in my life in every way and i'm wishing you a merry christmas happy new year and god's blessing for the 2021 yeah yes okay. hopefully i'll see you again and nancy make sure you let me know if you get that envelope and it's in okay. a brown manila envelope just so you know okay all right. Okay, guys. Thank well, you. hopefully I will see you uh, again before the end of the week. But nevertheless, happy holidays and love to all of you. Yes. Happy holidays, happy holidays to all. all. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.